So we got this Ford Focus here, 2006. It's got a two liter in it with a, it's the ZX4 SES package. But um, we're gonna try and scope some injectors today and see uh, just what they look like. I'm gonna try scoping them at the injector and also I have the PCM down from in underneath of the dash and I'm gonna try to uh, get a signal from back there as well just to see the difference in noise. I think it might be a bit cleaner if uh, I capture, uh, get a waveform from inside at the PCM. So we'll try that out and see what's going on. Got a uh, light set up. I'm just gonna grab a wiring diagram. All right, so we're gonna hook the scope up to this injector now. Down on scope. And I have a uh, 20 to one attenuator on this. Yep, been waiting all night. <laughs> so, uh, obviously your ground's gonna go to ground. Make sure that's good, and then we want to put our, I guess, signal side is going to go into this black and white. Put that in there. With our wiring diagram, we've got uh, power comes through this relay and then goes across a bunch of pages. Up feeds power to all of the coils and also all of the injectors, and then comes out of the injectors to the PCM, where the PCM controls the injectors. So in order to get a measurement, we're going to have to measure after the injector, which is our, sorry, it was actually a black and yellow wire, but it looks white. It's just faded on the wiring itself. So that's pin one. And then, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the car. There we go, we have our, uh, our 12 volts. This is the injector turning on. The saturation time of the coil inside of the injector. And then we'll just uh, throw some cursors up here to see how long this injector is staying on at idle. Oops. Uh, and it's gonna change around. As we give it throttle, obviously the saturation time is going to increase. fine tune that over a little bit so it looks like between x1 and x2 is three milliseconds that's the delta and then as we give it gas you can see that on acceleration your saturation time increases and you'll notice when I when the engines decelerating it's actually shrinking because it needs to uh, take away fuel. So now we can uh, check how tall the voltage spike is after the saturation of the coil and the injector shuts off. The magnetic field collapses and creates a voltage spike. So we're going to tone that down a little bit, something more visually appealing. Um, change our cursors over to our horizontal, or I guess our vertical cursor, sorry. You roughly get them where you want with this. Oops. Uh, you roughly get them where you want, and then uh, you can fine tune them. Use the little joysticks. 
I'm getting used to this unit. Um, so it looks like between Y1 and Y2, let me just try to zero out Y2 here so it's at zero volts. There we go. Um, looks like 55.8 volts. That's the spike. And if we wrap it up, it doesn't really seem to change. Um, as the voltage spike dissipates, we can see, we can roughly see a little bit of a hump right here. That's the pintle inside of the injector actually seating. So if we zoom in, it gives us a better view of that. There you go. So, um, one other thing that I wanted to do was check right at the connector on the fuel injector with the engine running. Guess how many volts we're gonna be getting that supplies the fuel injector. So not the signal that goes to the PCM, but the actual power supply is this green and yellow wire. You can see that's our battery voltage right now. I just put a little uh, display on there so that I don't have to keep putting my meter onto the battery every time I want to know what the battery voltage is. You can see it's sitting at about 13.1, 13.2. And there you go, so that's the supply going to the injector. It is battery voltage. Like I said, that uh, power comes out of this power hold relay um, and goes to right directly to the coils and the injector. I want to now find the pinouts inside of the car right at the PCM and see if the signal's any cleaner. All right, so there you go. I have it uh, connected to the PCM directly. That's pin number three, which is a black and yellow wire on the first, I guess I'm not too sure what connector that would be, where the PCM bolts up against. Um, if you were looking at it and it's mounted here, it's gonna be the connector furthest to the firewall, I believe. That's uh, That's got your wire in it. So we're back probed there. We've got uh, ground hooked up. There's actually a bunch of grounds that were on the uh, kit in behind the kick panel, which was nice. And then there you go. I have it set to uh, two milliseconds and 10 volts on a 20 times scale with the attenuator, uh, 20 to one attenuator. So uh, you can see a bit of uh, uh, noise, I guess, in there, but um, I'd say the signals are about the same, really, not uh, anything crazy. Move this cursor up. Still 30 volts, I think. 56. So, all right.